Hello YouTube, this is the engineer from the tag team, architect and engineer from the 8-bit engineers. This is the second video tutorial on how to build a compact version of my perpetual motion device, now called the Smart Booster. Last video we went over all the quirks I plan to use with this booster, in this video we're actually going to build it. As said in the last video, we are in Mr. Mango Fixation's world. The link is in the description box, as is all the other credit, which includes Ethos Labs and all the people who helped with the form. Let's get started. To make my life simple, I found the outer edges of our 5x14 and made a little ring around it. This isn't really necessary, it's just something I did to make my life easier. Now start off we need to make this as demonstrated actually all we really need is a little 4 cube this goes one block over right there alright now that we count eight squares one two three four five six seven eight because this is pointing in the right direction, we get to do this. All right. At the eighth one, we place three more blocks. It's going to be three. Just like that. Now, we're going to need something slightly bigger. Even though I showed you how you make it smaller, we need the larger one for this version. All right. The pad's going to go here. We just had an example of the how going faster affects it. And this is going to be where your the cart that boosts the cart you travel in goes. Now that we did that, we're going to need to add our other tracks. And you're going to see something that was very annoying for me to figure out at first. This. However, it's a rather easy problem to solve. First, you don't want this breaking up. You need it going straight in. First, you break this one. Then you break this one. Then you place the one that was on the bottom. Then replace this one. Very simple. We can't do the same for here because it starts to follow the uh, rule regardless. The west-south rule. So it doesn't really want to work with us. No matter how many times... Oh, sorry. There. That's what happens. Not good. So instead, we do this. We place our track. Then, we undo it. And voila. Does it on its own. So now we have our very basic booster. It's compact. It's compact. It uses hardly any iron, and we're going to place our carts right now, just to show you how it works. And voila. This is the activation. It hits it every time. The thing we're going to build counts to five, and then off it goes. All right. Now we just need to add in the resetter. This is where the input goes. Switch is there. Ah, this always happens. You gotta build this one first and then place that. Then you simply build it right over this. I'll go get that in a second. Then we're gonna break this cube. And there's your resetter. All right. Then you get to add this. And here is the track that comes outside and boost your cart. Now if you're heading this way, all you have to do is just here and like build a little loop like 
so, and it'll boost it. Or if you're going in the opposite direction, like I was, you simply do that. And that will reset it itself. And there's a chicken. Chicken wings, anyone? This is the very simple booster. The counter underneath is what we're going to be getting into next. As you see, for the sake of time, I've already started. It's a 4x8. Uh, without the casing, you just need to uh, build it too high at first. And the sake of it looking nice, I'll build it three high. All right, I built the casing. It's really simple. It just takes a couple seconds. And if you're doing this underground, you won't even really have to worry about the casing. It should already be there. All right, so we have our four by eight. We're going to start with metal with uh, stone pressure plates, and we're going to line all of the all of the uh, middle part with them. All right, and then we're going to remove. Let's make this pattern, leaving this one open. In fact, we'll dig a hole here and a hole there. We're going to place this one with a wooden pressure plate. All right, and then right caddy corner to the wooden pressure plate. We're digging a hole. Count two spaces. Dig another hole. Come over here, and in either this one or this one, I choose this one. We're gonna dig another hole. Now that we have these five holes, we're gonna need five doors. It's very important how you place these doors, so watch how I place them. I get in the hole. God, that sounded wrong. Uh, I face toward the plates, and I put pl place it. it. Should turn like that, just like that, for all the ones that are around the edge. Then you go to these, and you face toward the pressure plates again. Face toward them again. You should have this get up. Now we're going to take our dirt blocks, or hopefully, if you're being smart, you're building this all with cobblestone, and we're going to place it above all of these nice pressure plates. And so we should have something looking like this. Now we're going to take our redstone torch and start placing them, just like this, around the edges. The way I have it uses the least amount of redstone, then we're going to get on top and place the redstone like so. That's how the redstone comes off. All right, now we're going to take water, <laughs> and hopefully you're using buckets of water, not the way I'm doing this. And you're going to place it right after each door, except for this door. This is how it's going to look, but not yet. Now we place all this glass. We have to place the glass first. We should do, be doing this all in the order I'm doing it. All right. And we're just going to leave a small tiny space for us to throw the boat in. Like that, that's perfect. Cover up the boat, place the last water, and cover that up again. Congratulations, you've now got a five timer. This will count to five, and using that, using the uh, mine, the compressed booster, the smart booster, it'll count to five using this. And the input will be directly underneath, which is why I built this so tall, so we could get to it. Will that make water? No, perfect. It should be right around there, right inside. And so when the boat's on it, it'll activate that pressure plate, thus changing it around. That's how you build the timer. And now I'm going to show you how you combine the two. Here we are back at the booster, and you see I've d already dug out the hole. It just has to be like you just, you just dig down three spaces and then dig out this whole entire area and then just dig it down into the ground, leaving space for the redstone, all right? 
So we have this entire redstone get up. We have our pressure plate, which as you'll remember is right under here. So we're gonna build right under here, all right? And as you'll see in a second, you actually need to build to the side or it's going to mess up the entire thing. So that's how you do it. You just connect it to there, the redstone will connect all the way. And now we need a way for the input, you know, the switching tracks, AKA using the boat to get it. So we have our pressure plate right there. Ooh, I, I, I. And you can see I've already uh, dug out a little space for us. It just goes there. Connect straight to there. Connect straight to this one right here. You're going to place a redstone torch. Right here, you're going to place a redstone torch. And see, so you had to build to the side so the redstone torch wouldn't affect that. And finally, the last redstone torch is going to be here. All right. Keeping the input on. Thus, allowing for this. If you build it in a different direction, aka this isn't facing, this isn't uh, west or south, you'll probably have to have the input as off for it to work. And uh, let's give it a run, shall we? You see how it works. There's activating one. It's already at the reset. Now it's going to hit it five times and then reset again. And we have this over here. So that way you stand on a pressure plate. And you, the cart just uh, is just there waiting for it. So that way it'll only turn if it has the boost needed. And it's working perfectly. All right, thank you for listening. I hope I haven't gone over the time limit. Subscribe, like it if you do. Uh, this is 8-Bit Engineers. We're out.